How's it going Groovers? It's Simon here from CD Revival and today, surprisingly, I'm doing a new CD update. I uh, didn't expect to do one uh, this early, quite honestly, because I didn't hardly buy anything in September, then went on holiday, then I've come back and um, yeah, had a bit of a blowout the other day in various charity shops and other bits and pieces which I will explain as I go through. Um, but yeah, it's been a pretty good week and I have got a metric fuck ton of CDs to show you. So uh, yeah, we'll try and get through them uh, fairly speedily. Otherwise we could be here all weekend. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all good. Um, and I will start off with uh, this one, which I briefly showed on my entire CD collection video. Um, and it's the Paul Hardcastle like box set thing. Uh, which has got four of his albums, well, two of his albums and two CDs of remixes and what have you. This came out at the start of September. This is one of the very few things that I did actually buy in September. Um, if I can get the box open, we will show inside. Uh, yes, we can. Um, so, yeah, you get the four discs. So that's his first album. They're in like sort of slip cover kind of things. There's nothing to... Fancy Pants, uh, CD of Mixes, so various bits and pieces on there, uh, another CD of Mixes, and then a uh, second album, No Winners, not quite as good as the first one, but still worth having, and then you get a pretty nice sort of booklet, various, you know, bits and pieces, and you know, a bit of a biography and what have you. So yeah, I've been like after his first album particularly for a long time. Um, and it's, yeah, it's quite hard to get hold of and quite expensive. So when I saw this released, pretty much uh, grabbed that quickly and efficiently. And uh, yeah, I like it, it's good. So uh, that's that, I might need my glasses. I don't know where they are, they're up here, good. Sorted. Right, uh, what else have we got? This one I got, this is my most recent thing that I got, and I got this yesterday in a post from eBay. Uh, I'm not sure if I might need to censor this one, because this is the English cover of Hooked by Great White. Uh, the American cover was censored, where it was kind of just the sort of hook and the arm, I think, maybe the head, uh, but no naked lady for the US. They can't handle that kind of thing. Um, this one I think came out in 1991. Not overly familiar with it. I know that you don't see it too often for sale, so I uh, have to be careful. Um, so, yeah, I grabbed it, listened to it this morning, funnily enough, and did enjoy it. I think it's a really good album. Um, pretty, you know, standard rock and roll, but catchy, very listenable. I say it's not super heavy or anything, but, um, yeah, did enjoy. Uh, it's the only one of our albums that I do have. I remember when uh, Once Bitten, Twice Shy, the single came out, and I wasn't overly impressed with that, but... Um, but yeah, this one, pretty good. Liked it. Uh, this one, I got these are charity shops. I went to, uh, yeah, the local town the other day. Uh, this one from a charity shop. I think I paid 50 pence. And that is Status Quo, uh, Quo Stick Strip Bear. Um, and for 50p, that was a bargain, I thought. Um, and it's basically there, um, you know, kind of a, a bunch of their hits which are done acoustically which a lot of people were doing this one came out in 2014 by the looks of it uh, i'm not listening to it yet but i'm sure it's you know okay i'm sure it's fairly good bit, you know I, i'm a fan of quo they're a decent band so uh this will be interesting to check out uh same place i got this uh grace jones's island life uh, which is a bit of a compilation of hers and I don't mind some of her stuff quite honestly this once again was 50 pence which I thought was a bargain uh, this one's got things like pull up to the bumper and slay to the rhythm uh, which are sort of big hits for her or fair fair size hits should I say um, but that was that one uh, this one, an eBay one, I think I paid about £2 for it. The reason I got this is because it's the two-disc version of Vault by Def Leppard. And it has a uh, live CD, limited edition live CD with it with nine tracks. Um, and uh, say all the hits on there, if you like, which is basically what this is. It's a great hit. It's up to Adrenalize, I think, because they're whittering on a belt. I'll be on the lookout for slang. 
uh, yeah. So um, yeah, everything up to adrenalise, all the sort of singles and hits, etc. So um, a, a good list on its own. But yeah, with the live CD, um, there's the track list for the live CD. If you're interested, uh, it was worth two pounds of my money. So uh, yeah, good good band. Obviously, Def Leppard did my ranking. It's one of my uh, most viewed rankings, actually. Fun fact, didn't expect that either. Uh, Duran Duran Rio, pound. Oh no, actually, I think I paid two quid for this. Um, classic album from back in the day, 1982 maybe. Um, but yeah, loads of really cool stuff on here. Rio, My Own Way, Hungry Like the Wolf, New Religion, uh, etc. Save a Prayer as well. Uh, yeah, classic 80s synth pop, whatever you want to call it, album. Mainly pop, really, but... Um, yeah, good, good album. Got a lot of time for that. Uh, this one again was from the same shop, like local record shop. Two pounds, Easy Tops Afterburner. Not their greatest album, but follow up to the massive Eliminator, this massive album that was Eliminator. But still got some good stuff on here. Sleeping Bag, Stages, Rough Boy, all good tracks. Velcro Fly as well, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, worth having, worth two quid. For sure. Uh, brand new album now. Uh, it's the new album from Cannibal Corpse, Chaos Horrific. Um, and it's a good, solid death metal album uh, from them. Uh, no major surprises here. They haven't suddenly gone acoustic or anything like that. Um, similar to their last album, maybe not quite as good as um, their last one, Violence Unimagined, um, but still pretty decent and it's got some good stuff on here, uh, like Frenzied Feeding and Blood Blind and uh, Vengeful Invasion is another really, really good one. So I've heard this a few times and um, yeah, it's them. Um, so if you like Cannibal Corpse, don't be afraid to pick this one up. Actually fairly decent packaging for a new album as well, so it's got a double gatefold and a booklet so um yeah slightly more better than a lot of the new albums that i picked up um with its packaging is actually semi-decent well very good actually uh what have we got here where did we get this one from ah this was yeah uh I think this is one of the yeah i'll go into that in a second right this one sting brand new day um i think it was 50p or a pound it's from a charity shop anyway uh prefer his stuff with the police but his solo stuff's all right uh the song brand new day is decent as well so uh not bad not listening to the whole album all the way through but um pick this one up for yeah a pound i think it was maybe actually i think this one might have been one of the charity shop ones which was like 10 for a pound or something i didn't even come across 10 that i wanted i think i got five or six but they still charged me a pound but i still figured it was worth it so let's call it 20 pence for this one came out in 1999 uh this one was from the same place i think yeah it was uh best 80s album in the world ever it's two discs um probably most stuff i've got on here already but it has got some pretty decent stuff. I am a bit of a sucker for an 80s compilation album because um, that is my era, because I'm quite old. Um, but yeah, some good stuff on here. Um, so that was that. That's another 20p album, uh, as was this. Aretha Franklin's Greatest Hits, 30 Greatest Hits. Um, once again, two CDs of pretty much everything she's done that's worth anything, I guess. I'm not... A massive uh, aficionado of Aretha Franklin, but obviously I appreciate her work and her voice. And I did watch the biopic; it was like a movie or something, uh, very recently on I don't know, Amazon Prime or something. Um, and that was pretty good, also. So, uh, yeah, for twenty pence, two discs of you know R E S P E C T and Think, etc. Um, well worth it. Uh, these are all, yeah, okay. Put that one aside. Honestly, yeah, these are all charity shop ones. Yeah, and that one, and that one. 
do that one as well. Yeah, these are all from the one charity shop. So these are all like sort of 50p each pretty much. Uh, Beat a band, self-titled album. Uh, I've got another one of theirs, which is the three EPs. Really like that. This one I've not heard, but um, I got that for 50 pence. So I thought it was well worth it. Not checked it out yet. Uh, David Holmes, this film's crap. Let's slash the seats. Uh, trip hop. Say I've heard. Uh, I've got Let's Get Killed, that's really cool. Not heard this one yet, so I look forward to checking this one out. Uh, Adventures of Bobby Ray by B.O.B. Uh, Hip Hop from the 2000s. Uh, when did it come out? 2010. So yeah, this is around the time that I started getting back into hip hop again uh, for a short while. Uh, I do vaguely remember this one, it's not too bad, it's pretty good. This one I've got no idea, uh, DJ format, music for the mature b-boy, so yeah, I don't honestly know if this is any good or not, this is one I need to check out, um, and uh, yeah, if you know it then let me know what you think. I thought it looked interesting, uh, Eric Clapton's Pilgrim, um, once again, not really heard much of this. I do like a lot of his stuff. I think he's got a great tone on his guitar. This one I am not familiar with at all. Uh, yeah, banter buy. So yeah, we've got a few banter buys here. Not too many actually, but this one, Mariachi from Mexico. Couldn't resist that. Uh, 50 pence worth of 16 Mariachi tracks. It is as you would expect. And uh, quite honestly, it's pretty awesome. You never know when you might need such a thing in your life. Uh, this one is the Queen of the Dam soundtrack. Uh, I'm not sure when the film came out ages ago. The soundtrack is from... Yeah, no date on this one. Look it up on Google, man. It doesn't want to tell me. Um, but yeah, uh, it's fairly decent soundtracks. Uh, a lot of stuff's written by John Davis of Korn. And you've got people like Wayne Static of Static X, David Draymond of Disturbed, Chester Bennington of Linkin Park, Marilyn Manson, Deftones, Papa Roach, uh, etc. Doing stuff. Songs by Jonathan Davis and Richard Gibbs and performed by the people that I've mentioned plus others. Uh, Leah is in the movie as well obviously not with us anymore a uh, decent soundtrack uh, another compilation this is the dark side of the 80s and another two cd uh, very best of alternative rock goth and indie guitar it's a fairly mixed up um selection so you've got things like The Cure, Lullaby, Cult, She Stuff Sanctuary, Sisters of Mercy, This Corrosion, they're the first three tracks on it. They're all great. Mission Wasteland, you've got Iggy Pop on here, you've got uh, Bauhaus, Fields of the Nephilim, um, amongst others. Then you've got things like The Fall, The Wedding Present, All About Eve, I'm not overly keen on that. Uh, New Order, Doing True Faith, Pesh Mode's Personal Jesus, blah, blah, blah. Randomly, it's got Black Sabbath doing Paranoid, which for me is not from the 80s. Well, it's not for anyone, for that matter. Um, but yeah, that's the track list if you can see that, if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I thought it was worth the money for the double CD of stuff. Uh, same with this one, White Snake, The Early Years. I've got pretty much everything on here. I've got all their albums. There's some live stuff. Also, this is up to and including Slide It In, although Gambler's the only one from Slide It In. Uh, the rest of it is from the albums before that. So, um, yeah, Walking in the Shadow of the Blues, Would I Lie to You, Love Hunter, Child of Babylon, great song, uh, amongst others. Um, but, yeah. I haven't seen this before, um, and there's the track list, but I picked that up just to add to the randomness. Uh, another one, very best of the Beach Boys. This has got 29 tracks on it, um, pretty much as you'd expect, all their big hits and what have you. 
Um, I've got the Pet Sounds album. That's the only thing of theirs that I do have. Not a massive fan, but do like their stuff. So, you know, as you'd imagine, Surfing USA, Help Me Rhonda, Good Vibration, California Girls, I Get Around, etc., etc. Uh, very best of George Benson. Um, another one which was like, well, why not? It was like, shall I pick this up? Yes, 50 pence. Um, all his greatest hits. Uh, give me the night, never give up on a good thing. Um, etc. Um, so yeah, if you're in a bit of a soulful, chilled out mood, this would do the trick. So that's from the charity shops. This one I got from eBay. Uh, cross purposes Black Sabbath uh, out of print can't stream it on Amazon Music anywhere I'm not sure about Spotify so I don't use that uh, the guy had it on for 6 99 I offered him 6 quid and then within a minute it was like pay now alrighty um, so I think I got a fairly good deal on that because they say it is quite hard to get all of the Tony Martin stuff's quite difficult to get um, I hadn't heard this one before but I was playing it in the car earlier in the week and uh, very much enjoyed it really really good album um, well worth checking out probably one of my favourite of the Tony Martins actually I've heard Headless Cross quite a bit um, I've heard Tear once or twice but uh, yeah this one really did think it was a good album so yeah pretty happy to get that one uh, now I'd say this I got a, a bit of a lucky break really because um, there's a town near me and they've got like an indoor kind of market with a guy who sells vinyl and also a lot of CDs, uh, which is a bit of a jumble. And uh, recently he's been doing them like, you know, all CDs half mark price, which actually makes them reasonable rather than like ridiculously overpriced, which is what they were at their, you know, normal price. But anyway, uh, went down there the other day, Wednesday or something, and it was like all CDs are now a pound, which he had a lot less than when I went down previously annoyingly but he still had some good stuff left um so i bought about 20 discs off of him and these are basically them um most of these are fairly good and i would describe as a bargain uh first one is the black grapes second album stupid 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 um this is probably not the most amazing one of the bunch quite honestly but um still pretty cool sean Ryder. Uh, from the Happy Mondays, uh, he's banned it after that. It's supposed to have two googly eyes on it, but this one's only actually got one. Um, but yeah, not a bad album. Their first album's really cool. So that was the first one. These are all a pound. Uh, Deviant by Pitch Shifter. Uh, not heard the album yet. Um, but grab that one. Uh, we have uh, Coed in Cambria. In Keeping Secrets of Silent Earth 3. Not heard this one either. Comes with slipcase. Pictures of planet. All very nice. This one I've already got. Um, but I couldn't resist it for a pound. It was like, do you know what? I'm going to buy it again. Uh, this one doesn't have a barcode on the back either. I've looked on Discogs to try and find out what sort of version it is. But it doesn't say, uh, obviously, Vince Neil Exposed. Uh, really, really good album um, from Vince Neil. Probably the best of his solo albums. Um, and now I've got two of them. Um, hang on a minute. Yeah, could well be the Japanese version, hence the lack of uh, Barco, because it usually is on the Obi strip. So there you can see, yeah, this would be the Japanese version. Obviously, it hasn't got the OB strip. I don't think it's hidden anywhere inside. Yeah, no, it definitely is the Japanese version. It's got a Japanese sheet of despair. So, yeah, a pound. I was happy with that. Um, so, yeah, it's another a double that I've got. I don't mind having doubles of really good CDs. In fact, I might do some giveaways of my doubles, so... Um, you know, that might be a thing that I might do in the future. Maybe when I get to a thousand subscribers, I might do some giveaways of like doubles that I've got. You know, and if you're a subscriber, you can throw your hat in the ring and maybe get a free CD sent out to you. So uh, let's go to a thousand subscribers and that could well happen. But yeah, Vince Neil Exposed, really, really good album. Um, yeah, if you haven't got it, you need to get it. 
Uh, Bad Company, 10 from 6, uh, compilation album, I guess 10 tracks from their first 6 albums. Um, yeah, pretty decent. Uh, can't get enough, feel like making love, that sort of thing. Um, good stuff. Uh, Dude Ranch by Blink182. Decent enough album. Um, not their biggest fan, but, you know, they are what they are. Uh, this one, Tribute to Iron Maiden, Made in Heaven. This is one of the Kerrang! magazine sort of free giveaways. Um, but yeah, some good stuff on here. Uh, things like Metallica doing Remember Tomorrow, which is actually a bit of a shit version. Uh, Avenged Sevenfold doing Flash of the Blade. That's good. Uh, Dream Theater to Tame a Land. Uh, what else have we got on here? Machine Head doing Hallowed Be Thy Name. Trivium doing Iron Maiden. Um, some other lesser known bands, Devil Driver doing Wasted Years. Um, so some good stuff on there. Obviously was not, you know, necessarily for sale to begin with. Um, so yeah, I was happy to get that. Uh, Liam Gallagher, as you were, I think this is his most recent album. Um, I think it came out 21 or something maybe. Uh, not checked this one out yet, but I am a fan of Oasis and, um, we will give that a good old go. Uh, this one I have, and this is another one I need to cover up due to tits. Uh, yeah, Enforcer, never heard of them quite honestly. Um, I didn't buy it for the tits. I kind of opened it up and uh, there was the picture of the band. I thought that's clearly metal and it's on earache, so that's a bit of a giveaway. Um, so yeah, I don't really know. I think they're just sort of traditional metal. This one came out, who knows when. 2012, this one came out. So, uh, and it's got power, speed, death written on the inside, which is, you know, a good credo. Um, so yeah, if you know this band, then let me know. I haven't heard it yet. I do need to check it out because, you know, power, speed, death. Uh, this one, Mark Knopfler, The Rag Picker's Dream. This is a limited edition double CD, two CDs. I'm starting to get a bit of a collection of his solo stuff now. Still haven't actually listened to any of it, but I am a big fan of Dire Straits in general. So, um, you know, when I'm feeling in a particularly mellow mood, we'll go down that road. Uh, Means to an End by Biohazard. Pretty much the only Biohazard album I think I didn't have. Uh, was delighted to pick that up for a pound. Um, so yeah, great band. 2005, this one came out on Steam Hammer. Um, but yeah, didn't have this one, so pretty happy to get it. Uh, Kid Rock's Cocky, bit of a guilty pleasure. Probably not his best album. Um, standard Kid Rock-esque. Uh, stuff actually not a bad album really it's, it's okay um, so yeah uh, Snoop Dogg's Bush and this is one of his latter ones as well comes with a bit of a slip case and a very blue inner very blue inner um, but yeah this was produced by Pharrell Williams a lot of the songs written by him as well 2015 this came out so not that old uh, Fever, Bullet for My Valentine, thought I had this but I didn't, so yeah, it's not bad, not a bad album, I do like a lot of their stuff, Scream, Aim and Fire is probably their best album for me, uh, Silver Chair, Neon Ballroom, I think this might be their third album, uh, Frog Stump I've got, I'm not overly familiar with this one, this is a two, two disc version as well. Not sure what's on the other disc. Um, bonus CD, including unreleased video and songs. Uh, but yeah, that's that one. <clears throat> uh, we have the soundtrack to Jackie Brown, the Quentin Tarantino film. Uh, I do like a Tarantino soundtrack, to be honest with you. It's usually a fairly good mix of stuff uh, with sound bites from the film included on there as well. And this one's no different. Excuse me. Uh, you will know us by the trail of dead. The album is Worlds Apart. 
another limited edition CD DVD set. So some pretty good stuff here for a pound each, I thought. So I did, you know, grab, I did go through everything he had and grabbed what I thought might be worth it. Uh, yeah, not checked this one out yet. Uh, him, Love Metal. Not really heard much of their stuff either. He had a few of theirs actually, but I thought I'd just get one and see what it was like and maybe go back and scoop up the rest if they're decent. And the last one that I got was Linkin Park's Minutes to Midnight. I'd say I'm not their biggest fan, but I think this one they had a bit of flack when it came out as well, but what are you going to do for CDs for a pound? Um, so yeah, that was all that. I thought I was pretty happy with what I grabbed there. Uh, and then the last few of stuff that I grabbed like at the start of September on a fairly unfruitful this one I grabbed in Bath. Willie Nelson, legend, the best of. Does what it says on the tin. It's got on the road again. That was all right for me. Um, yeah, it was in Bath. Bath is a fairly big city, you know, with quite a few charity shops and went round them all and found absolutely nothing, man. It, like, it, and, like, it wasn't even like, oh, you've got loads of stuff and it's all shit. It was just like... Man, you, they, they, they just didn't, they, they mm, didn't have a lot of CDs. But uh, the last one I went in, I found that. So it was like, well, I'm not going home empty handed. At least I've got that. And then I've got a few from the start of the month. Uh, another fairly unfruitful one. But some, you know, just mainly banter buys on this one, to be honest with you. Uh, Luther Van Drosses, Give Me The Reason, Old School. It's a bit of a classic, quite honestly. The uh, title track is decent, and um, I really didn't mean it. That's another bit of a banger, to be honest with you. Luther looking pretty sexy. Um, yeah, before he, you know. Anyway, uh, Elvis Presley's first album. I haven't got any Elvis Presley stuff, so I saw this one, and they say it's the classic uh, album cover much aped um, and so I grabbed that and this MC Hammer Hammer please don't hurt them a banter buy if ever I saw one um, but you know it's got here comes the hammer on it which is you know a thing uh, and you can't touch this and um, yeah it's MC Hammer we know all about him best of wham You know, it's got all their hits on them, you know, Club Tropicana and uh, Everything She Wants, which is a really good track. Young Guns Go For It, Wham Rap. Um, yeah. Last, DJ Khaled, Major Key. It's got lions on the cover. It's got DJ Khaled and lots of flowers. And uh, a jeweled key. Uh, yeah, I, this one I've not actually heard, but I have heard some of his, um, you know, earlier works. And uh, you know, it's got some great guests on it, like you know, Naz and uh, Drake, I guess, and uh, Rick Rouse. Uh, it's actually, yeah, I'm, I, I should check this out because I actually do like a lot of his uh, earlier stuff. Like, you know, all I do is win, etc. Um, probably not everyone's cup of tea. Certainly if you don't like, you know, hip hop or, you know, recent hip hop. But, you know, I've got a bit of time for his anyway. So, yeah, that was a bit of an unexpected um, mega update. And uh, I need to get a new shelf because, quite honestly, I don't think I'm going to fit all this in to the space that I've got. So... That is my next mission in life, uh, is to get a new CD shelf and then I can actually put all this stuff away. Um, yeah, I don't think I've got anything coming at the moment. I've not ordered anything or so we'll, we'll see. Um, probably won't have to wait until November for the next update. But yeah, appreciate all the new subscribers. Um, we're well over 300 now, well over 300. So, yeah, let's, you know, say when we get to 1,000, I'll start doing giveaways. There you go. That's an incentive to subscribe. Subscribe. 
there'll be giveaways. You have my word. So I will catch you all next time. We'll carry on with the S's. We'll do the Scorpions ranking eventually. And um, yeah, I forget anybody why I've even done now. It's, but yeah, massively appreciate everyone that watches and say all the new subscribers is great. And um, I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Take it steady. Cheers.